What up, guys? Two test matches to talk about today. West Indies versus Pakistan and India versus England. Let's get into it. Right, Windies versus Pakistan. I said in my last video, the difference was always going to be the batting. Windies had decent bowling. Pakistan had decent bowling. The batting was always going to be the difference. And we saw that in the first innings. Babar Azam, Farwad Alam, they were the difference. That partnership set up the entire match. There was not one person in the entire match other than those two who scored more than 50. Those guys, one getting 100, which is an unbelievable 100, and two, Barbara Azam coming in in pretty tough time. That set up the test match. That is what makes test innings. We always joke around in Australia, first innings runs are the ones that count, not the second innings. Not entirely true, but you saw it in this. First innings was crucial because the wicket just got harder and harder to bat on. And those guys, the way they batted, that partnership was first class. It was the one thing that set that game up for Pakistan to win. Now let's talk about Farwad Alam. He has played 13 test matches, 500s, unbelievable conversion rate. That is as good as it gets. He's 35 years old. You think, where has he been? But he's probably one of those players who's bloomed a little bit late. He got a go at the start, didn't quite go, and now he's scoring runs. But class is class. If you look at his record, he averages over 50 in first-class cricket, even in ODI cricket, over 40. He averages close to 50 in, first, in list A cricket. This guy is a run scorer. This guy knows how to bat. He knows how to score runs. And they're the guys you want to have in your team. And he has stood up for Pakistan in the last year and so. To see him in the team, to perform, um, the way he bats is very different. It's almost like a Pakistani Shiv, Shivaran Chanapal. It's awesome to see. He does it his own way and he knows how to score runs, as I said. Babar Azam, of course, talented cricketer, one of the best in the world. No surprises there. But he keeps leading Pakistan from the front and he's obviously a big, big reason why Pakistan won this test match. Now we're going to talk about Shaheen Afridi. Obviously, bowlers, bowlers did very well too. You know, six wickets in the first innings, four in the second. He just gets that beautiful rhythmic action he has one of the best wrists i've seen Mohammed amir is probably the second guy i've seen have a wrist like shaheen afridi but the way you see shaheen afridi's wrist snap down right at the end that is what gives him the little bounce and the swing at the same time and if you've never seen him in person you think yeah he's tall he's a big guy shaheen afridi's got really long arms too so when he gets in his bowling action it actually comes from very high too because his arms are so long people don't realize that if you haven't played against him, but I have so I, I know the feeling of when someone's coming from a very tall height and he's one of those people and that's what makes him a really good bowler not only the fact that he can swing it but he also gets that extra bounce because his arms are so long and he's obviously still tall now India versus England oh what a series this has been I honestly think that India is still gonna win but the changes that England have done to their batting lineup I actually think have strengthened their batting lineup no offense to the guys that were there before I have no doubt that Sibley Lawrence Crawley We'll all come back into the team, but I do think having a middle order with Milan, Root, Bairstow, Butler, experienced guys who've played a lot of international cricket gives England the best chance to win the series. So when I was really confident about India winning before, I still think India will win, but you know the confidence just come down a little bit because experience always trumps out everything else. This is going to be a really exciting test series. I, yeah, I'm not sure. I think India's going to win, but. Who knows? Obviously, India lost his test match in the first innings, all out for 78. England is one of the toughest places in the world to bat in the first innings. And if you get the conditions go the wrong way, for some reason you just end up nicking balls. Everyone ends up doing it and the whole team's out for less than 100. I've been there. I've seen it. I've been in teams that have had it. I've been teams against. We did it to England. It can happen to anyone. But what happens to you in the first innings is very hard to claw back, especially the way that England batted. Joe Root again, on fire. He's been like the class batsman he is. He's been one of the best in the world for a long time. India need to find a way to get him out earlier. Um, he's the difference right now. If it wasn't for Root, India would be could be 3-0 up. Root's the one that's been stopping him. If he keeps batting like this, leading from the front like he is captain, he's the one person that can stop India in this series. Obviously, another big talking point is Kohli. Still hasn't scored um, a big score yet. Hasn't scored 100 in a while from Test Match Cricket. I feel like it's around the corner, but who knows? He's been looking good, 40 this innings. Um, he's got a couple of starts. Jimmy Anderson, again, beautiful outswing. Almost got him in the second innings too, but it hit his pad. Look, this is a fierce role. I love watching old Jimmy Anderson versus Virat Kohli. You don't see Virat struggling much against a particular bowler, but in England against Jimmy Anderson, that's the competition that everyone wants to see. So next two test matches, that's the one that I'm going to be watching. There's obviously something there. Jimmy Anderson has got him out seven times now, almost eight. Obviously, he's got that review back. 
back, but this is the competition. This is what we love seeing. And whether he can come out and score runs and make a big one for India. Root's been doing it the other end as a skipper. Will Virat be doing it? Everyone's watching him. The eyes on him. The pressure's on him. I love to see him respond the right way. Is there a weakness in the armor there? I don't know. Maybe a little flaw there. It'll be interesting to see what happens. A positive Puji scoring runs too. Then you got 91 of about 180, striking at 48. Bosh Buckley, that's fast for Puji. <laughs> Look, I'm just kidding. I love Fuji. I love the way he bats. Um, it's all about test cricket, the grind. You need him in the team. You need guys like Fuji in the team. So for him to get runs, boost up, massive for India. Test matches at the Oval, traditionally not as swinging as Headingley. Um, ball doesn't do just as much. Big squares, so the ball flies for boundaries. Usually a better surface, a more batting-friendly surface. So I think it'll bring the two teams back even again. It'll be interesting to see what happens. My guess is as good as yours. Looking forward to seeing it.